Dusk Haven is a World of Warcraft vanilla private server built on a red core and has recently seen a huge increase in popularity. In general, the overall interest in Classic Plus servers has gone up, with other projects such as Turtle Wow becoming an overnight success, and even Blizzard is making noise about creating true Classic Plus realms. But in my opinion, Dusk Haven has the potential to be the best private server catering to this niche. In this video, I'll explain why you should consider Dusk Haven. First reason is the fact that it is a vanilla slash classic realm, but built on a rat core. This gives it the best of both worlds. The level is capped at 60, and the Blizzard made content is restricted to vanilla dungeons and raids, but with plenty of changes, as we'll see in a bit. What puts many people off in true vanilla, such as in Turtle WoW, is the abysmally slow leveling speed. It can take weeks, even months, to get to level 60. Not so in Dusk Haven, where the experience is doubled, many elite quests are now soloable, and there's a random dungeon finder which you can use to level up pretty fast. Other rad things on Dusk Haven are glyphs, dual spec, transmog, dead knights, the option to automatically disenchant loot in dungeons. You can buy scrolls of enchants on the auction house. There are more mounts and riding is easier to get. And you can get it at a lower level. There are titles and achievements, including custom ones, which to me doesn't really matter generally. But plenty of people really like the system. Dungeons have rare spawns up most of the time, which means extra loot. There are extra quests and quest hubs, and in general the game just plays a lot smoother than it does on a traditional vanilla client. And last but not least, classes play mostly like they do on Wrath of the Lich King meaning all specs and classes are viable to a large degree. In addition, they all got tweaked, and there are even some new specs. This leads us neatly into the second reason why you should play on Duskhaven. There's custom stuff, lots and lots of custom stuff. As I just said, all classes and specs are viable, and they all receive tweaks and additions to make them a little bit more fun. For example, warriors get Heroic Leap, and Shaman get Tsunami, an AoE Riptide. Those little changes are fun and definitely make the classes better and more interesting, but there are also plenty of large additions. Priests can become a monk at level 10, making them able to tank and do melee DPS. It's a really fun spec to play and is more based on the Scarlet Monastery monks than on pandas. Rogues can become demon hunters at level 55, with a custom questline and a base in Black Temple, similar to Dead Knights and Archerus. Shaman can tank now by selecting some talents in the Enhancement Tree, making them a Stone Warder. If you compare this to the meme Shaman tanks on actual vanilla realms, it's a world of difference, and Stone Wardens are viable, competitive, and fun to play. There are a few more class race combinations, such as Dwarf Shaman, Troll and Human Druids, Torrent Paladins, Blood Elf Warriors, Night Elf Mages, Undead Hunters, and Gnome Hunters. If you choose the latter, they'll actually become a Tinker, another new class which is based on engineering and gadgets. The survival tree for Hunter has been reworked and is now a true melee Hunter spec. This isn't a meme spec either, it's really strong and fun to play. Currently, another new spec is being worked on, the Bard, which can be a healer or a DPS. Not much more is known at this point. Humans can choose to become a Worgen by talking to an NPC in their starting zone. They get teleported to Gilneas for a custom questline. As a Worgen, you're basically just a human unless you use your racial 3 minute cooldown, damage and healing increase. As a mount, you get running wild, transforming you into a Worgen and making you run at mount speed. Torrin have a similar option in planes running, although that doesn't seem to scale with mount speed just yet. Apart from the class design, Another thing that made classic World of Warcraft not viable for more than one or two specs per class was itemization. Tier sets were, for the most part, aimed at one spec per class. Druids, Paladins, Priests and Shaman were healers. If you wanted to play a DPS spec, tough shit. Your spec wasn't really viable, nor could you easily get gear. Thus Caven resolves both of these issues, and as you can tell here, there are custom made tier sets for all specs now. Bosses can drop specific tier pieces, but also tokens which can be exchanged for any piece of gear you want. A much better system, which ensures that the loot you get from killing a boss isn't going to waste nearly as much as in Classic. There are also several ways to gear up at 60. For example by doing Mythic Plus dungeons, which award really decent loot, and the Mythic Plus 2 can be done the moment you hit 60. The available Blizzard made raids aren't numerous for now, just Onyxia, Molten Core and Blackwing Lair. 
but they've got a heroic version as well here. In addition to being just more fun when the classes are better designed, there's also a custom-made raid available, Ashara Crater, and a new world boss, Oakheart, located in a new zone of Hyjal. Yes, Hyjal is a zone here, although it isn't really fleshed out yet, and the few quests it does have leave a lot to be desired. But it's a work in progress. I'd also like to point out that Stromgard Keep in Arati has been redesigned and looks really good, although there isn't much going on there yet. Other raids will be released later this year, with Zulguru coming in April, Ankaraj in May, and Nexramas in September. After that, well, it's Vanilla Plus, so there will be Karazhan Crypt, Emerald Dream, and Upper Reaches raid. For solo content, you can participate in the Brawler's Guild, giving you the chance at a nice mount, the Goblin Shredder, and the Pit Fighter title. And you get a new heirloom ring, increasing the XP gained for your alts. If you want a more challenging experience leveling up, why not take on the Hardcore Challenge to see if you can hit level 60 without dying. If you die, your character is gone forever. It's also made a bit more difficult here because not only can you not die during the Iron Man Challenge, you also deal less damage and take more by a whopping 30%. Your healing is reduced by 25%, and you gain less experience and reputation. However, if you make it to 60, you get awarded with a pretty neat Hellblazer title and the Asharan Gurlock mount. Not hardcore enough for you? Why not turn on War Mode, which increases experience and reputation by 10%, but makes you tagged for PvP and a target for those of the opposing faction. Oh, speaking of which, instances and chat on Duskhaven are cross-faction which makes it easier to fill groups. Apart from all of that, there are many more quality of life changes on Duskhaven, such as working, summoning stones, mage tables and warlock soul wells, mana gem charges, weapon skills get maxed out automatically, and so on. You can pick three main professions, which is really handy if you want to be self-reliant. And the third main point I want to bring up is the fact that Duskhaven is made by one guy who really seems to love World of Warcraft, and this shows in the entire project. It's been around for years, and only recently has the population picked up. It's not a fresh realm by any means, but it might as well be for all intents and purposes. You can hop on now, be 60 in no time, and participate in all the custom content Duskhaven has to offer. Highly recommend it.